pricing is a very intriguing part for any business. Businesses lean on the science, the art, and blend it both together to get the customer over the final hurdle to say yes. But I also think there's a very simple, logical, intuitive side of pricing. And let me give you an example. Recently, one of the home meal delivery services, which gets you on the pre-made meals, sent me this incredibly fascinating offer. I focus on the word fascinating. 16 free meals when you order seven boxes. Plus, the first box ships free, plus three surprising gifts. I'm all for surprising surprise gifts. But I started doing the math. What does this 16 free meals, what does it mean? Took me literally three to five minutes you know, to write everything down on a piece of paper to figure out that they send you boxes that you have to commit to. And every box sends you two weeks of meals, which means seven shipments, four meals in every time, which is 28 meals over seven weeks. And when I commit to that, I get 16 meals free. 16 out of 28 itself is a great deal. It's better than 50% off. And then there's an urgency. The first one ships free now. And don't forget, there are three surprising gifts. But do you think each one of us have the time to do this math and figure out and say, wow, I'm amazed. To, this is what I'm getting. Not really. Customers decide emotionally. They justify rationally. And to decide emotionally, they have to get it immediately. Let me share a second example with you. This is at a retail store. I saw this sign which says, buy three for the price of three. Yeah, I don't get there, but I was literally at a loss for words. Isn't that obvious? Unless you tell me otherwise, you always buy for the price of one, two for the price of two, three for the price of three, four for the price of four. I can go on like this. So what are you trying to do? Confuse me? Like, I don't even know what's the price of one. So when you have a pricing like this, which I don't get it, you won't get me. Recently, we were working with a national gym and they shared with us their pricing strategy where they were promoting for new members, you can join and get the first year at $299. They even did showed me all the math that 18% of customers feel $299 is a better value than $300. Wow. As I started thinking about it more, I realized $299 a year means less than $1 a day. I think for all of you, Die hard gym enthusiasts. Going to an amazing gym unlimited number of times for less than a dollar a day. I know you're excited. And that is the power of simplicity. That's the power of the customer getting it on their terms. The customer must get what it is, and why is it relevant to me. Then the whole value equation, everything else comes in. That's a different discussion, different day. But here's a simple rule what I've realized. If in any way, especially in pricing, you make a customer feel stupid. Yes, I had to use the big stupid word here. 
the customer will not build a relationship or a connection with you. If a customer does not get your price, the odds are totally against you. I would even go all the way to say the chance of you getting a customer to say yes when they don't get your price is absolutely zero.